So guys, I missed my bus. On my Twitter account, you may have seen me saying that my bus is 20 minutes late, and uh, yeah, it's about an hour or so after I, not an hour, but like a half an hour after I posted that. And I've just been sitting there staring, and I realized I was the only kid sitting there. So uh, now I'm just walking home, hoping that it doesn't start raining. Oops. I accidentally put the camera upside down. Well, let's just hope I don't fall off the earth. So guys, I'm still on my walk home. I started out all the way back there, about, actually no, about a quarter of a mile back that way, so. Just now I'm realizing how far a walk it is between my, uh, my high school and my dad's house. Which currently, I'm going over to my dad's house so I can put in a few hours on the generator project. Which that video for me will be out tomorrow, but for you guys it'll, well, actually, who knows. Well, a minute ago my bus just passed me. Now ain't that ironic. Okay guys, so I'm here, I'm back. I'm just in my garage right now, getting ready to get to work. I was uh, just inside listening to some good music, and I'm actually going to feature that artist in my music review this weekend. So, uh, you guys can be looking forward to that. So, uh, back on point now. This is a bike gear. This is the chain to that bike gear. This is another bike gear right here in my uh, vice. This is another chain for a bike. But that chain right there actually came from that bike that I dismantled the other day. That was the, uh, the one in the bike teardown video. And then over here I have another chain. This bike gear, and this bike gear, and uh, that chain and then the one in the bag was actually courtesy of my grandmother and grandfather, who are probably watching this. Hi. Hi, Grandma. Uh, thank you very much for this. It's helping. Uh, so these are going to be used in this, along with that and some other stuff. So now, this is going to be at least part of the gear system. So uh, what I've done here is I've taken this, I've measured it out roughly, and it's about the size of that PVC pipe, seeing as I can fit it in there nice and snug. So what I did is, uh, if I can find it here. Okay, well anyways, I took a piece of cardboard and I cut a hole in it that's about that, uh, the size of that hole. And I uh, put, used spray paint just to mark the two places where the gears are going to go. So I would just do this and just put a nail or something thick through the middle and just let it spin. But there's a bunch of other gears on there that I could also use, and I don't want the inside to spin. So, since this one is the easiest to do that with, you can see it's not fully attached on this one on the back. I'm cutting this with a hacksaw so that I'm separating the largest gear. So, uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys back when that's done. Okay, I'll tell you two things. One, that was very hard to get off. That's down there, it just kind of fell. <coughs> two, <clears throat> that new music is actually really addictive. I was just listening to that. So, uh, yeah. I just got this thing off. So you can see the... It's actually kind of hot still. So now... There it is. We just gotta do this one. And then I'm also definitely gonna use these parts too. Those are that one. And then the small part from this one are so good. So, uh, yeah, awesome. Actually, I need to cut the small one off of this too. Okay, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, so, I have an idea. 
I have this in the vice for the drill press and I have the new bit in the drill press and I have a dot there. That dot is because do you see those little openings in there? That's the opening to the gear, the second biggest gear, the gear below it. And so if I drilled here, that would screw with the drill bit. So if I drilled over here, over here, or something that would screw it around with the drill bit. So doing it there, where there's not an opening, sure it might make this second biggest gear a little structurally weak, but we're not going to be using that. So I have a dot where I need to drill, I'm going to make some other dots around there and drill there. I'm going to mount a back plate on here. What I'm going to do with the back plate is... Uh, somewhere in here. Let's... There we go. This. This is going to be fitted to a round pipe using a bolt and some stuff. But it's going to be coming off of it like that. And so I'm just realizing now this is going to be a little bit more elevated than I first imagined. So, uh, yeah. That's what's going to be happening. This is obviously going to be cut. This is steel. This used to be part of a bed frame, I think. So, it's uh, pretty hard. I had around one of these. I cut it in half, and I cut right on the weld mark. So, that was really hard. So, uh, yeah. Let's get drilling. Okay. So... I'm not sure what this material is here, the stuff I'm trying to drill through, but uh, it's not drilling. That's still smooth, and I've just been trying to drill through it for five minutes. And since I don't want to drink, break a drill bit, I'm going to have to find somewhere else to drill. So, uh, yeah, that's odd. The tip of this drill bit is still good and sharp and stuff, but that's just not budging. So, who knows? Okay, so, I got this in the vise. I got my hot glue gun out. Should probably get some of this glue sticks over here for the glue gun. If you're wondering when my shadow moves with, when I move, it's because there's one light right there that's lighting up this entire area. So this is, doesn't really need to be cleaned, but the inside of this is full of grease. So what I'm going to do is just going to use one of the random shop cloths I have laying around and try and get at least some of that out. That's really dirty in there. Try and get it nice and clean so that the glue actually sticks. The nice thing about this is it has grooves in there so that the glue, glue can go in the grooves instead of just having a smooth surface to, uh, to try and grab onto. Because I don't think that would turn out very well. Because I don't think hot glue bonds that well with metal. So. That shop cloth is going to need to get washed sometime soon. Yeah, it's pretty clean now. So it's not that hot. And it doesn't reach. That, that would be a problem. <laughs> I need to go a bit, just a little bit further. Ladies and gentlemen, this does not happen with normal outlets. Please don't pull it out of the wall. That was a joke. Okay. Well, that's going to have to do, I guess. Oh, I guess it was hot. Shop cloths to the rescue. Let's, there we go. That sticks okay, I guess. So, uh, yeah. I'm gonna put that like that. I'm gonna coat the outside of this with, uh, Bit of hot glue. As fast as I possibly can. And I'm gonna put it in there. 
Okay, so far that's good. So far so good. Gotta push it through a little bit more. And do the whole outside here. And, crap, I didn't think this through. The nail. A jar of nails there, I guess it could work for this. Yeah, I need to think these things through a bit better. Well, I can't move it in or out. It only goes one direction. Good. That's good. Just put you down for a minute. That's mounted. So now, um, yeah, be right back. Okay, now I can show you guys, seeing as I got the, it spins one way, the pipe doesn't move, it cannot spin the other way. So I could use like this, with just using inertia, but I cannot make it go the other way. So like that it goes forward, but it won't go backwards. There we go. I just realized that I perforated the cardboard right there. God, the camera angle is like dying, I swear. So guys, that's just about all I got time for and just about all my phone can do because it's um, about 5% battery and I still gotta get home. So I finished putting that off. That was loud. I got a solution to this. Um, I got that and I got to unplug this. Yeah, so it, I know it wasn't very much. I was expecting to get a lot more done, but the walk home from school took about another hour out of my uh, time here. And it wasted a whole lot of phone battery, too. So, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next video. That will be longer. I promise. Well, actually, no, it might be a lot shorter. It's a music vlog, a music review thing. So, yeah, here's my workstation. It got even messier. And by the way, this table is not permanent. It's just... Well, you can see there's no other cars or anything in the garage. It's because my dad is up in Redstone. I mean, Lake Redstone in Wisconsin, where he's building his house and stuff. I've mentioned that a few times on my channel. So that is just kind of there, because he was sanding a bunch of trim and stuff, had it all over the tables. He had a horse saw, a saw horse set up over there. So I just kind of claimed that table as my own. So I'll see you guys in the next video. This has been Alex, and I'm out. Later.